Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and to another vloggy vlog 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 I have just taken delivery of something that I did not know was arriving today and that I was not going to start the vlog talking about however it excited me far too much so I am going to talk about it now because the other exciting thing that's happening today is not happening quite yet that will be happening oh which shall I talk about first I'm indecisive I'm going saddle shopping the vlog title and thumbnail will probably say that that is something that I did not think the words would be coming out of my mouth because I absolutely love and adore my saddle but there is a reason to this and a method to my madness is that the right terminology probably not let's talk about the uh, thing that I did not know that I was going to be talking about today because I've just took delivery of something new and very exciting it's like air up read my mind now you will know that i have been using the air up bottle for a fair few months now and i absolutely love it it's a fab way of encouraging you to get more h2o into your system to stay hydrated in this warm and muggy weather although it is slightly windy today you probably can hear that but you know that i'm always rushing around like a headless chicken in fact my bag and my other air up bottle is currently by the ranger ready and raring to go with me but the postie just rocked up with a box and i was like i'm gonna open it and see because i had a dispatch note yesterday did not think it would arrive this quickly but it has so i'm gonna do a little unboxing with you because something very very exciting about this one and it is like they read my mind it is what i would have done to improve on the other one and it's like they knew because i like crisp cold water when I drink it. As you can see here, before I even unpackage it, it's a steel bottle and I believe that the fact that this new design stainless steel bottle will da -da 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 -da, enable it to stay cool for up to 14 hours. Ooh, cherry. I've tried peach before cherry is a new one to me so i'm gonna pop that pod on i can imagine cherry would be oh, i have got fizzy water yes 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 the day just keeps getting better literally only stocked up on that yesterday a fabulous i was just thinking cherry would be nice with fizzy water and i can make that possible now if you don't know what i am bleating on about and you haven't seen my previous ads in collaboration with Air Up, then these fabulous little pods, as you can see, cherry colour, cherry picture, cherry scent, oh my goodness, that's strong, stroke flavour, they simply pop on to the straw like so, press it right down, and then once it's in the bottle, you would then pull it back up and then the air, hence air up, aerates the water and tricks your brain into thinking that you are drinking flavoured water when in fact it is only your scent that is making you believe that the water that is soon to be inside this bottle is flavoured. So it's zero sugar, zero calories, zero additives. It is pure, and I would normally say plain tap water, however, because I've been organised, I'm actually going to go with a bit of fizzy water today. I will fill this up pop it in the fridge because I've got about half an hour until I leave and then take this with me and revel in the fact that whee, it's going to stay nice and cold because of as you can hear there the stainless steel bottle the link will be in the description box huge thanks to air up for sponsoring the video and for bringing out such a cool new product i am delighted because as i said i love cold water i'm gonna pop this in the fridge before i drink it all and then remember to grab it and take it with me because we're off on a road trip with em and addy right his lordship has just had the speediest bath you ever did see hence i didn't film it and em's just phoned me to say she's two minutes away now just to put a little twist and complication into our traveling scenario em's driving here with addy and her trailer then we're unhitching her trailer hitching up to the ranger putting banks in and then getting on the road so that i drive because she needs to carry on working but Addy stays in the trailer that she knows. We will progress to getting Addy to travel backwards. 
But today, when we're in a rush, is not the day for that. We need to practice a few local trips around here. Moving on to, I don't really have time for this right now, but my beloved saddle. After my um, lesson with Cameron the other day where it absolutely pelted it down with rain, it made me realize actually that she is starting to look a little tired. And I will shamefully admit I haven't actually had either of my saddles checked for many years, which I feel as an influencer is actually quite bad of me. I should be promoting getting your saddle checked regularly. However, the one thing that I will say is that Mr. Sensitive here would 100% let me know if anything was up. He does have his back physio massage and everything done regularly. And he is comfortable and as I say he would 100% let me know if he wasn't comfortable however I'm aware and I can hear banging which means that Addy is coming around the corner that he is 15 now and he will you can hear her too can't you can you hear ads so Addy he will be changing shape his back will sadly start to dip I need to keep on top of making sure he's nice and muscly in his top line and I'm just, yeah, I just feel that actually the opportunity is there and I should not just be a creature of habit and stick with what I know. I have had this saddle since, since 2012. It actually wasn't bought specifically for Banksy. It was bought specifically for Buddy and I did have it altered back in 2014 and made wider for Banks because, believe it or not, he was and is chunkier than Buddy. He's also very alert to the fact that Addy's just turned up. I'll continue talking once we're in the car because I think it's important that we get these two sorted, switched over and loaded safely. And yeah, I can tell you a little bit more about why we're going and what we are trying out. Em just did an Addy and Banksy bum. I can't see over the top. What can you tell guys? Who's tallest? Addy's actually on a slight downhill, is she not? Oh really? Yeah, why? Well, was it bigger? <laughs> was it higher? Oh, if I stand back here, I can only just see Banksy's, but I can easily see Addy's. I know. Oh my goodness. Wow, Sarah might have a measuring stick, Anne. That is where you measured her last time. I know, but the month off was meant to bring her withers up, not bring her bum up. <laughs> Even higher. Oh dear, I think she's definitely going to be bigger than him. Like, He's not standing square. So I was like, hold on a minute, stand square. And then I was like, oh, it's not really helped. <laughs> P.S. That's not a waifu dad going on in the background. That's my friend's father's very ill and I've left some out for her to try because he won't eat. I was like, oh, they'll be perfect. You're not taking that with you? Yeah, I'm taking my saddle. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Only went, I nearly forgot it. <laughs> Along with my lunch. I've just seen what you've got in there for lunch. I was trying to be a bit healthy too, look. <laughs> I've got two veggie sausages, high in protein. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I was like, what I... What? <laughs> um... We won't talk about the mini drama we just had. Oh, oh the dash is a bit dusty to put my two veggie sausages on. That's what I spotted that Emily had. They're very, very healthy. Oh, so and right. Oh, no, you're going to say you've seen Med Meg's Instagram this morning. Oh, uh, what flavour have you got? No, not flavour. Uh. Phil. What did I say the one thing? Oh, it keeps it cool now. Yeah. It's insulated. I said the other day, I'm sure I did, didn't I? The one yeah. thing I change. Especially because I went for the it, black and not a clear. And we left it in the sun the other day. It attracts the sun. I was like, the one thing I change is having it in steel. Voila! Literally. Ooh, dispatch yesterday like turned up. I know. They answered my prayers. Right, let's get on the road. We're going to be late. We need fuel. Ah! And we need more cup holders in the car. Addy's quiet. Yes, let's get on the road. On the route, we might talk a little bit more about saddles. <laughs> We're full of saddles back here. <laughs> I think I actually need to text Sarah and confirm the arena hire too. <laughs> Typical Tina. So we have arrived to what you guys will remember as a familiar venue, but there isn't the familiar face that you would normally see here because he is currently up in, where is it, Bishop Burton, doing the under 18 coordinating B coach. Oh, yeah, I should get my lingo right. But anyway, he's a busy bee this week. So no lessons on Tuesdays and Thursdays at Rollstone this week, which is an advantage for us because it means we've managed to hire the arena to meet the lovely Sophie and Charlotte from Albion to have, as you can see, going on here, 
Saddle checks for Addy, but the flies are eating her. Now they've gone to now find some dressage saddles to try on you. And we've just been looking at how Sophie does her templates, so how much she has changed in shape since the last time she did it, which was at camp, which was the beginning of June, and now two months later, the difference in her shape. Obviously, when Banksy gets measured up, we, I will show you a little bit more about how Sophie does that and does her templates. But for now, he's just being a very good boy and staying in here in the cool. You've just had a nice drink. You can have another treaty. Auntie Emily doesn't have stud muffins, but she does have nice nap apple treats. And yeah, then I'm going to get Banks measured, templated up, and just try a few and go from there. Like, no pressure to have to agree or do anything today. Just have a look at what is available, what suits and fits us. And yeah, just basically keep my options open and I am going to get Sophie to have a quick look at what mine looks like on him now. What I hadn't said earlier is my saddle isn't actually a flocked saddle. They were just talking about flocking and how they're about to change that on Emily's K3. It's a, mine's got latex panels so actually nothing inside it can change or be changed. It's not, it's only adjustable in width, it's not adjustable in the actual panels themselves. So there's nothing in there that would change or compress or need refilling so to speak which is probably why it has been absolutely fine for so long um but yeah i just need to not be a creature of habit and to yeah just keep my options open have a look and just have a sit and a ride in all of the different styles that albion do i will admit and i did say on em's vlog that whenever i used to ride lola i would always take my saddle with me because i felt comfortable and secure and safe in my saddle up until emily got her k3 and actually then when i rode in that i was like oh my goodness this is very very nice and i do feel comfortable safe and secure in yours now too so now that I have ridden in that, I do feel a little bit more open to trying something new and not just being a creature of habit. And I did it just explain to Soph that actually my saddle was never for Banksy in the first place. And it would actually be nice to treat him to something nice and shiny and new of his own. Wouldn't it, boyo? At some point, especially now, we are doing so much more jumping and so much more together. And you're in your prime and you deserve to be spoiled, don't you, boy? So we'll see. We'll see what we try out and see what we find. I do believe she's got quite a few different options over there in her van. This is currently Em's current dressage saddle. And I believe, bless Addy, going snoozing, that she's going to be trying a few different options in dressage too. But I'm only going to be trying jump primarily today because that's what's most important to me. Shock horror. And obviously the glitter back. Mm -hmm. um, nice. So that's a K2, so that's dual flap. Yeah, dual yeah. flap. I'm guessing you probably you wanted a monoflap. Generally. I mean, but you don't know, do you? Yeah, that's just what I'm used to. You and like, didn't you? A lot, of, a lot of time ago. <laughs> a long time ago, yes. Yeah. On a French horse. And then you've yeah. got the, basically, the sister saddles, the K3. So obviously, what you yeah. ride in. So that is the monoflap version. So again, you stick to the, everyone loves the seat. Um, yeah. And again, a little bit of a nicer feel, closer mm -hmm. contact. You've got contact light, so I would again fit off of the contact light with the Revelation cross country probably mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. So the contact light would probably be a little bit shapely in comparison, right, okay. whereas the Revelation's a little bit flatter in the tree. Okay. So again, I might say fit this, not perfect tree shape on the horse, but then I might pro-light it, so padding arrangement just so you can get a <laughs> feel ride what, and yeah. feel. Okay. Um, it'd be the most similar to riding in the Revelation, okay. basically. So if you got in this, loved it but wrong tree shape obviously i can order it in either mm -hmm. slightly different tree shape or we can obviously go up to the revelation yeah. cross country mm -hmm. um but again if you're liking the feel of more of a mono flap mm -hmm. then that's your, your option what you're used to when it's what you've ridden in for yeah, so long isn't and it? again yeah. for your event obviously majority is going to be a mono flap because you want to feel the, the turns obviously yeah. if you've got your skinnies things like that so when you're landing you want instant response yeah so if i'm landing i've got a skinny here that's when you get your close contact feel yeah exactly. and again if you feel the horse is just backing off and you need a little bit of a stronger aid that hopefully you'll feel it a little bit better yeah. so yeah. that's the purpose of your close contact you feel mm -hmm. each other a lot easier 
So Velcro. Yeah, thigh. so that you can move them. Yeah, yeah um, whereas the rev would yeah, be actually. fixed unless you yeah. wanted them, obviously, mm -hmm. okay. in Velcro. Moved on to dressage without you, Em. <laughs> now I was <laughs> saying I might only try jump today. <laughs> but Brento. <laughs> so you guys obviously like this. This is obviously yeah. the Jubilee saddle. So this is, again, the Mano Flap um, Brento. Really lovely seat. Um, again, this for Big you. Cool. You can see the length of that lot. Yeah. Um, so that might be where we need to obviously address yeah. things. Um, again, if you're particularly tall rider, you can have it in a long flap, you can also have it in a shorter flap if need be. Lucy so. had hers longer, didn't she? Yes, she does. Yeah, Lucy's got long, long leggies. Yes, she does. I would say definitely need to order an extra inch for her. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, what have we got here? So this is the Revelation. So this is the, kind of the top of the dressage range. Um, this is a Revelation Platinum. So again, slightly different tree Ooh. shape mm. in this. Oh, wow. Yeah. So a little bit, a lot more saddle. That looks very comfy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so again, mono flap, so really close contact feel. Mm -hmm. um, and then soft. again. Yeah, so with the Revelation, we actually can have this in the checkerboard system at the moment. So we can order. I've seen that. Yeah, so we can order the block specific to the rider. Uh, okay. Good and that's again where you'd put different block placements on. So if you wanted teardrops in a small, a large. Yeah. Um, again, slightly shorter, slightly longer. So, so completely customizable. Yeah, yeah, but obviously then it'd be a fixed mono flap. Yes. Yeah. So we wouldn't tend to ever order that in a, in a say, Velcro panel. We'd all basically ride you in it. In, and then organise exactly where mm. you need to have it done yeah. and then obviously order it accordingly. Yeah. And, and so, it needs to suit the horse and you. <laughs> yeah, and this is when saddle fit comes into it, which yeah. is why I say, we, you know, we can work out today what suits the horse, so we can go, right, this is the absolute best fit on the horse, mm -hmm. right, what do we need to modify for the rider now? Yeah. So if you, your jump saddle is, you know, we had the block position in, an inch higher, mm -hmm. um, you know, changing that to a teardrop block, for example, yeah. or a shorter flap, yeah. so we can really customise the saddle fit for Did riding you? the horse. Yeah. So this the is the SRK. Mm -hmm. So this again is just a standard finish. You can have it in the autumn and you have a cut block. Mm -hmm. um, so the cut block are basically a moulded block. So again, aesthetically looks a little bit prettier, a little oh. bit nicer. Um, whereas this one's just a standard mm -hmm. jewel flap, um, dressage. I heard that horse walk off then. I suddenly was like, is that my horse? <laughs> 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 no, she's still definitely there. Um, so again, a lot of people really love the seats on this one. So it's mm. a real good deep seat, um, a little bit of a narrow twist. So yeah, in okay. comparison to that revelation that's got the platinum tree in, um, so that's a little bit broader across there, a little bit more of an open head, um, and it's okay. a little bit, again, lower. So, mm. yeah. Again, we're lovely and soft. Right. Addy, all Move done. Thanks, he's <laughs> done now. He thought he was just here to be a babysitter. I have very kindly had confirmation that I haven't been a horrendous mum and that, that would not be causing him any pain <laughs> but you know that you can get something that will fit him <laughs> even better yes. as he develops into his elder years oh, you need to stop saying this no he's in his prime i keep prime saying prime. he's in his prime aren't you boy what height he's at a great age 1900 newcomers according to cameron like how many days a week on average does he get worked five five you wouldn't think it and does he have a dressage as well or just a jumper saddle? He has dressage as well, yes. Indeedy. He does, don't you, Boo? No, I shouldn't be saying, mate, but what is your mate with your dressage saddle? Same. Is it? Yeah. I did think that. You had a Bates though, didn't you? Yeah, I did for years actually, and yeah. I loved that. It was so comfy. Mm. Good, no flinching. Nice, very good. Nice. Oh, he likes doing oh, that. He nice. likes that game. That's what they got us to do at Nordwood, wasn't it, Em? Belly left. Yeah. yeah. And the and the down is bum as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's probably actually, despite having a little bit of pork on at the minute, the fittest muscly wise he's ever been. Yeah, he feels fantastic. He yeah. genuinely feels good there. He's sleepy though. Yeah, sure. Oh, is this telling me how heavy he is? Yeah. Approximately. So, I do centimetres, yeah. so it's 186, which on the way you take the making 464, and you have to add a minimum of 50 on, so it'd probably be around about the 515. Yeah. Is your way bridge You're a dink, really, aren't you? No, you're not that big a boy. Everyone thinks he's bigger than he is, no, he's but he's not I at all. pictured him being like he's very compact. Two. Yeah. Hi, baby. <laughs> a boy. I rode in a K2, gosh, yeah, lots of years ago. My friends, yeah. Um, and I've ridden, I keep meaning yeah. to 
to pinch M's K3, or I had been meaning to pinch M's, M's K3 and try it on him because I've only ridden Lola in it. Okay. Oh, and Addy. No, I've ridden Addy as well. Okay. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, I've stuck to a very good spook in Addy actually, on Addy. <laughs> um, but yeah, doesn't do need to now, do I? Because I can just yeah. ride in yours. Yeah, we're going to try. Mm, so that shows how even they are each side. Pretty much, yeah. So at least two inches behind the scapula. That's the first stick to point at the tree. <laughs> behind the scenes of how to, how to stop Banksy from resting a leg. <laughs> but he's nice and square. It's because he's, he's so relaxed. Very right <laughs> right, right, good. Lovely, perfect. <laughs> well, he uh, slightly drops in there here. Oh, okay. Um, but again, the second template, so four inches behind the scapula is again pretty level. Yeah. Um, so this would be more so caused because of an unlevel an evenness in the scapula so one okay. again sits slightly further forward than another so the one that sits slightly further forward would always kind of measure slightly okay. dropped okay. um easy way of showing you that is again we squat good boy in front <laughs> Ta -da! Here's one, da -da. Stay, 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 stay. good boy so that shoulder yeah and that one oh out, out there oh my goodness oh. crikey but that's like normal. normal. Yeah, Very so normal. Uh, yeah, like every person. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So again, it's just obviously oh some goodness. horses' shoulders are slightly yeah. more forward or back yeah. than others. Yeah. And again, you can have horses that either on one side slightly more upright or again yeah. slightly more slate yeah, on completely different sides. Yeah. This is the K2. This is the K2. Yeah. So you can instantly see a better tree shape on him. Yeah. Good boy. And a massive knee block. So I guess people possibly may think that because the K3 came out, the K2 was stopped, but that's false, it's not. No, again, and you've got personal preference. So if you want kind of this, but mm -hmm. a slightly closer feel, um, slightly more modern looking saddle, then obviously you've got the K3. So mm -hmm. it's, it's just basically, again, monoflap against dual flap, really. Yeah. Um, and then obviously we've got the K4 as well now. Yeah. Um, so again, tree shape wise, that would suit a little bit more with that, less shape. Right, okay. Because we've discovered from putting the contact light on him that he is a bit flatter backed. Yeah, a little bit flatter. Okay. Not as much shape. That looks nice on him. It does. <laughs> but what do I know? Okay, do you think? Do you what? That's part of saddle fit. You should be able to just puff a saddle on it. Just and it looked look like it. Like it should fit the horse. It's yeah. snug, yeah. yeah. Like, not snug as in tight, but snug as in touching where it should be touching. Yeah. Contact <laughs> all the way through. That's the one. That's we the are one. learning. And this is the one like Emily's, yeah, well, yeah, K3. Very good teacher explaining things. Yeah, you've taught us how to fit saddles in it, no joke. How long did it we take you to talk, train yeah. so? Um, so we have a minimum of three years before we can take our exam. <laughs> <laughs> but I've just like told you guys in two hours. So oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't think we'd pass over you. That's, <laughs> and that's not against your teaching. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think, um, as I say, a lot of people forget actually how much goes into that little bit. Yeah, oh, just, 100%. Not just the horse, it's a rider as well. And then we've got a new um, anatomy, biomechanics, obviously yeah. how they move. And um, then you've got to do all the same again, but with, with the riders. Yeah. Um, then you've got no trees, panels, um, block, oh, so much. I can never end it. And it's something again that there's always new technology and new things coming out, so you constantly got to yeah, yeah, exactly. And you've got to keep, keep up to date as well. Um, so obviously, how they used to fit a saddle 20 years ago, very different. Yeah. Okay, so that's a similar fit to the K2 on him. This one. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Is it the same tree? Between? Same tree, same and tree. then again, you've got different panels. So um, again, just because of the flaps. Um, so I see mono, so mm -hmm. sit a little bit closer. Um, and similar, if we needed Smooth. to with yours. Um, we can have a slightly bigger block if need be, but yours oh, okay. is actually positioned a little higher. Yeah, for so, our short legs. Yeah. Um, so we we'll see how you fit. <laughs> cool. I'm, I'm pretty much ready. Ready to get on board. Ready. Don't know how ready Banks is. He's a little bit sleepy, yeah, but he is since I last tried a different saddle on him. And Em knows what reaction we got because he is Mr. Sensitive. Just in case something was to happen and it gives entertainment value. That's all. I don't think it will. Yeah, I'm not going to move. No, oh, I... My legs feel like directly touching his side in this. No, I was actually... Do you know, that's what I was about to say before you started speaking, is saying no, but we know that it fits. Oh, it's nice and 
like yeah. he's comfortable yeah. it's not fitting but basically, well it is fitting you've got the shins to basically balance the saddle mm -hmm. um so at the moment because we've obviously deemed that this is a bit too shaped in the tree but we need to have tina have a feel of the actual seats if you like it so yeah. what we've done is basically infilled an area that is basically otherwise going to lift up at the back okay. so again we've got complete contact all the way through mm -hmm. so he will not be in any discomfort yeah. yeah oh no it's a lovely seat under your bum it's squidgy. Yeah. Yeah. That's where I think I can tell that mine is a little bit worn now. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be probably the most similar to what you're used to yeah, out yeah. of them. And uh -huh. the others are going to be a lot more saddle underneath you. So this is probably, like I say, the, the most... The yeah, it's funny though, because even though mine is close contact, this feels a lot closer contact. Okay. Like, my car feels flush to his side. Cool. He feels narrower. Yeah, so, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, because you always think he feels quite wide. Yeah. Mm. I like how much my legs can wrap around him. He's looking happy and free. And... Yeah, it feels lovely. Feels mm. more awake than I thought he would as well. <laughs> <laughs> looking okay for you? Yeah, yeah, I'd say this will give you the best feel equivalent to what I would probably order and put him in. Right. Um, but I'd like to say, I'd go but it wouldn't be this exact type of saddle. No. Again, we can discuss that obviously with the factory though. So if you yes. say absolutely love everything, it'd be a case of putting a square So as you can see, I stayed in trot for quite a while because previously when I did try a different brand of saddle for a few months, a few years ago, it was in the canter that he would erupt. And thankfully, as you can see, I put my brave pants on and asked for canter. Good girl, Eddie. And yeah, you can see he's very relaxed, very content. And in turn, that makes Tina very relaxed and very content and happy smiley. I just feel like cross country. So she's just gotten on and she likes this one as well. Yeah, I know, I got on and went, oh, that feels nice as well. It's not as squidgy, the seat. Emma wanna sit in the other one in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna see what this squidgy feels like. <laughs> it's nice to see how well he moved in that one as well, or felt. Yeah. The good thing for me is obviously you can feed that back, because obviously I don't know him, or I don't really know Addy, so obviously for me, I'm, like, I'm seeing them for the first time. Yeah, of course. So it's quite difficult for me to judge how they're going in the saddles. I can obviously say, like with Addy in the dresser, as you can say, she, for me, she'd look better in one over another. Yeah. So hopefully I'll see a difference in him in the jump. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, it's kind of you guys are going to have to tell me, because I've not, I don't know the horses well enough to say they're going better or worse. No, just, really? different, just differently positioned. What? If I actually show you how small the block is on the other one, you'd be surprised. Yeah. But also, you've got to remember that they're all, they can be moved and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true.
thought you were coming into me then. He was. <laughs> Tail, no, he hasn't. He's very reactive to oh, okay. getting tight and swishy tail. Okay. Which again, weirdly, when I felt his back, I wouldn't have said because he's actually really nice in his back. When I felt over, he's actually really fluid and soft in his back. So I wouldn't say he's a good, like a normal candidate for, for that. Okay. It feels lovely. It looks lovely too. Slightly deeper gusset on the back, so you're just a little bit to the back of the movement in this one. So if you stand up in the stirrup. Yeah. And sit like that. That's you put all it up ever so slightly. Okay. That's all I do. So when I'm watching you trot, you're just a little behind the movement in the trot. Okay. And trot, that's all. And that's me being fun. Yeah. Really, really fun. You're allowed to pierce your trot. Yeah. <laughs> Get this exam to the side. You're not a dual I'll flat a person. Just, to check, just do you get them, please. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I could imagine this is lovely for. So, do you know the majority of people that I'd sell this to? Hunters, hunt riders. Oh, okay, yeah, when they're sat in it for a long time. Yeah, long yeah. period of time. Yeah. Big, big hedges. Big secure, big yeah, your knee, you aren't going but further forward than yeah, that at and all. Also, you, obviously, like you said, if you're out hunting for the whole day, something like close contact, you're going to kill your knees off and yeah. your bum by the end of it. Whereas yeah. this, you can hunt it all day. Okay, well I know that's a no, so can I just really quickly just do the light again just to feel the difference compared yeah, to the yeah. just want to check that bit doesn't rub either. Yeah. But then will the revolution be any longer that way than the hand? If you the light. do you want a longer flap on it? Well that's the only thing I was wondering if that's where that was catching is because Was it catching the other there. side? No, only on one side, funny, isn't it? But I've changed my socks now, so okay. well, we'll put you back on. I'll try it really quickly. Yeah. Well done, she's taken one out of the equation. Yeah. Now I'm putting the first one back on. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what you told me to do with wedding dresses. <laughs> that's what you told me to do with wedding dresses. Yeah, true, exactly. So similar, isn't it? <laughs> Actually, they're quite similar price too. <laughs> but, do you remember how nice that looks? Yeah. They're not even that big, are they? No, no. no. But I guess you, with that, you could put a bigger one in or? Yeah, or a smaller one. Yeah, whatever or, you want. Or again, anchor them wherever you want. Mm -hmm. So what I'll do with you is if you... I just like how my leg feels there. So there, so then just drop that out and back for me. How hey, you move it a bit? Oh, okay. Yeah, right. That'd be better for you. Yeah. Do the other side as well then. <laughs> do the other side and get No, compare it, Tina, compare it. You know you said how you're losing oh, all yeah, your demo saddles. That one, wasn't it? Sorry? Oh, Sophie's losing all her demo saddles. <laughs> Tina's taking this one home. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so you've got to keep the blue shims in because Tina said, like, that's it now. Yeah, that's it now. I'm keeping it's this brown. one, even though it doesn't it's fit Banksy at the moment. <laughs> it's brown, that's why I like brown. it less. No, it's just so comfy. Like, it's so squidgy under here. That reminds and me of Sprite And also, it's seven. got the low back so that... he drops. Yeah. Does it look nice on him? It does look nice on him. And it feels like... Well, like we said from him trotting a minute yeah. ago, he feels a bit freer. 
I just really feel like I can apply my leg well on it. Like. But, well, again, this is why you're trying the saddles. Yeah. You've got to find your, what is suiting both of you. When have you ever tried, like, I know obviously you... I haven't. No, you haven't. You've never ridden in different... I've never ever ridden him. It is what I bought for Buddy. And the only reason I bought that for Buddy is because it has such flexible points, because Buddy had huge shoulders. And then you obviously need to just see, is it going to rub your leg? Because obviously... No. Well, now, now that I've moved... Now <laughs> you can... What are you doing, Now you need your sock. Maybe you change uh, oh, I could do that little roll top now as well, couldn't I? Good boy. Oh, he feels lush today. Sorry, mate, a bit deeper. Oh, good boy. This one. Okay. Go on this one. You happy? I really like it. Oh, I didn't expect to be saying that. <laughs> it's just a good thing because I thought I'd be massively indecisive, but that just feels lush. Okay. Hey! Sorry, to drop you, mate. But <laughs> sorted. Yay! It's nice I think you're a bit in shock that you've actually made a decision, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> feels so nice just to be able to put my leg on him. It's not a big ask to put your leg on, is it, really? No, I know, but just, yeah. That's He's not been at all silly, has he? Not at all silly, and we just said, actually, I do think he looks... He looks actually freer, freer in, in this one, one, out of the K3. Yeah. yeah. The second you went into the trough, he just straight away mm. comes to the yeah. shoulder again. And that's not even... want to carry on jumping. That, yeah, but that, again, that isn't even... Considering what a sensitive him. horse yeah. he is, that isn't even perfect. Oh, my God, so, I know, and I haven't had one tail swish. Which makes me feel more confident. Obviously. Yeah, yeah like. <laughs> this is definitely the saddle. <laughs> no, it feels lush. <laughs> I didn't get to go cross country on Sunday, guys. <laughs> so I'm just getting my little fix a sec. <laughs> Good boy. Oh, There's a little them. like yatta. <laughs> now on to dressage. So you, what you cry, I'm not giving you a contact line. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just take that one. <laughs> and your shoes. And my blue shims. And my shoes. <laughs> Woo! Well, this feels different. Remember when Cameron said about sitting not on your front and not on your back? back. I feel like, yeah, perfectly placed, but Banks is had enough. <laughs> Did you see Fred's story the other day of his boots completely worn through on his... From oh, his, yeah. That's when you realise how much pressure they actually use with their inside leg <laughs> and how the saddle doesn't do the same. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Oh. Yeah, never thought of that. That's what our first Albion vlog will be oh. about, so if you want to subscribe you know to the why YouTube channel. Comment? Oh, well. I don't like the knee blocks. Um, they would have to be that great. They're too long, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. As I say, it happens for a lot of people. It's yeah. just the block positioning. The saddle, everyone loves saddle. Horses go beautifully in the saddle. But, the, but blocks are going to be different. Restricted in crop. Yeah. Is it lifting off his back? No, you're going behind the knees in this one. I need to change this one. Better tree shape on him, but again, it's actually too head high. Okay, yeah, I could felt like every time I landed I was getting a pop. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't like that one. Nope, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no fan of this one. <laughs> I told you to let me know. You see how much the tail started swishing. At least he does. Is it because you just suddenly were in canter though? And quite I don't know. Yeah, no, he doesn't like feel it. No, no, he's no, not. He's not happy. No, he's not. Yeah, he don't like that's that. fine. Good boy. So, I would much rather he let me know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Fine. Yeah, that's fine. And fine. it's better that he says it straight away. Yeah, oh God, he will, yeah. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Sassy. Okay. He's all done like that. I wonder what, what, was, what will he not like about that then? What's so, it could be more weight in the back. So obviously when you ask for canter, the hand leg comes under, they have to mm. lift the back. Yeah. So if you meet a little bit too much pressure, He'll go, oh, don't like that. Yeah, he did. Which could be that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
And I know I asked for it quickly, but yeah. I'd been doing that in... Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the jump. Ended straight away. Like when I was just at the out. benefit yeah. of the doubt, but the moment you went round there, <laughs> no, you could tell. <laughs> I was like, oh, he I almost goes, right rain, yeah. not left rain. And he went, oh, no. Okay. I love you, because you do tell me, don't you? Okay. Say what you just said again, because I was literally just thinking the same thing. I thought you were going to struggle to know what to go for between the two. So did I, but that's when I, when I got back on the second time, I was like, nope, yeah. this, perfect. Oh, that was fun. I enjoyed that. And I love that my pony will actually tell me when it's a no. <laughs> and it, well, it did scare me a little bit, but no, it didn't scare me. Because <laughs> he didn't carry it on. You didn't go the whole no. way across the arena. No, and exactly. And it wasn't the fact that it was the moment it was touching his back because it did fit him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As Sophie said, it was as you were coming into canter and it just... More pressure on. Yeah. Anyway, woo! Which is good because it's nice to have one that lets you know. Hmm, right, decisions, decisions, because they can all be... Or I don't know if I'd decide 100% right now and today, but well, you, you are, you need to find you? out if they can get a swatching of your cosmetic colour. Ooh. Like they've done with me. Did you say you've got swatches? <laughs> She's like, yes, come into my den. I can't believe I'm making a decision. It's like just spontaneous uh, one. Bear in mind. Oh, I don't know that one. <laughs> um, if there's a particular colour you want matching, if it's not here, we can obviously source. Pretty much so. like the free jump blue, but. <laughs> oh, blingy bling as well. So this is all for the piping. And where on the saddle can this so, go? You can't have a whole saddle in that colour. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, we'd have Ooh. to put some backing. So that could be on, like, say, your canto. Um, yeah. Again, it could be like yeah. rolled. So obviously, how that is over the glitter here. So it could be rolled. Oh, in. okay. Oh, yeah, um, look. So the main places you can do is obviously around front here. You can obviously have through the belt. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah. Which is the obvious one. Obviously, the belt yeah. goes round. You can have the back of the canto. You can have stirrup loops. Yeah. Um, obviously, on the saddle. Oh, you like, like Lucy's got two tones. She's got yellow yeah. and blue. So yeah. again, you could have that initialed and lasered. You could obviously have the back Goodness. lasered now. So oh, again, how too many? I know. I don't. I'm not that good so at this. So you know how the Jubilee saddle had lasers. Yeah, so again, that you was have lovely. Laser that. That's the Union Jack. You're going for a saddle with a wear strip as well. <laughs> so. A wear strip would be this piece here. Oh yeah. Again, you yeah, can have that lasered. Of, like... So we have some of the riders have have their name lasered into there as well. Um, mm. Obviously, yeah. So pretty much, if you have an idea of seeing something, just say really. Oh my goodness! I think I've made a, a big enough decision today without that I did not expect to be doing without making colour decisions too. That's quite pretty, isn't it? Charlotte's made a while, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. And what did you go for, Charlotte? The exact same colour that's on my other one. Oh, wait a minute, I do quite like the navy glitter though. With, with brown would look nice, wouldn't it? So guys, it is a few days later. <laughs> I realised I didn't end the vlog. I wanted to go home and think properly about it before making a set in the stone decision because obviously it is a very big decision. Big changes, as I said, I absolutely adore my saddles but do think the boyo deserves a treat and to have something brand new of his own um i have actually been speaking to albion this afternoon via whatsapp about the potential of having the contact light which is the one that i liked the most to ride in um and it was just the fact that the tree off the other saddle suited Banksy's shape better. So Sophie has been speaking to the factory to find out. Let's stand here in the cooler sec, mate. Yeah, to find out whether that is possible. Um, so yeah, watch this space. I'm like 99% sure, but there's a little bit of me that's like, oh, I just get nervous because I had issues with saddles in 2018. And that's what's made me too scared to try anything else. In the meantime, as you can see from the dressage saddle that he didn't quite like, he's very quick to tell me <laughs> if something isn't quite right and he doesn't like it. So that's how I've been like quite okay with knowing that. A, his current saddles are sitting nicely on him and B, that he's okay because I have his back done regularly. Although, as I will say, I do not advocate not getting your saddles checked. It's just very hard with the likes of Devaku saddles to get reps down to Cornwall. Living in the middle of nowhere is, yeah, a bit of a curse when it comes to a curse. That's not the word. Um, yeah, I don't even know the word I'm looking for, but he is feeling feisty, so I'm going to carry on and get home. Um, 
yeah, I'll keep you posted. I'll let you know what we decide. And yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed trying them. Like I said, I was a bit nervous to start with because as you can see from the one we tried last, he does get swishy and woo, and will let me know when something isn't right. So that is my reasons for over the years, not having risked trying anything else because I did actually sell this to one of my friends at one point. And thankfully a few months after her having it, she did decide that it was too wide ever so slightly for her mare. Look at these prick deers. Um, and was going to sell it again and I was like no 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 let me have it back so whatever happens this saddle will 100% be staying with me because you never know another set of ears might need to use it at some point and as I said previously as well this wasn't actually originally bought for Banksy in the first place it was bought for Budster you just got his second hand cast off didn't you but it's done very very well like I say 10 years old and it's got foam panels in it which means it can't be flopped anyway so not much apart from the width can be adjusted in this one and I think because he is quite flat backed that's why it suits his shape and size he is hot sweaty itchy scratchy desperate to get home so I'm gonna over and out thanks for watching and yeah watch this space we will see I like I say nothing set in stone but it's looking very possible that you might be a spoilt bubba and get one maybe two new saddles so i hope you've uh, enjoyed this vlog found it informative and interesting and do like comment subscribe if you don't already i am ending this on my phone so apologies for the quality if it is poorer than the camera was uh let's get this boy home washed off because as i said sweaty beast over and out stay tuned for hopefully an eventing i feel like i say that all the time i'm not even going to template and say that stay tuned for what's to come and i will see you all very very soon thanks for your support as always guys love you all lots and over and out from me and banksy boo boo keep on doing what you do doing what you do just keep on doing what you do keep on